Hey, welcome to TA Tech. So in this video, I'll be doing the new ultimate guide for Windows for the Steam Deck. So I've done one before around four months ago, but there are new stuff that came out. So we need to update it with a new ultimate guide for Steam Deck Windows. So if you see something that you've already done, just skip ahead with the timeline to the next step. Let's get started. So first we're going to talk about the handheld companion. All right, so first open the link in the description below and you'll find this website. All you need to do is scroll down and find the download. Make sure you download the offline download because this is the full download. You don't need to use internet for that. So download this now and then install it on your Steam Deck. It may ask you, it's a virus. And uh, if you want to keep it, just press keep and keep on your Steam Deck. Now close your browser, install the app and let the magic happen. This software will download other stuff with it, such as DirectX and .NET, just to display everything for you correctly and run it smoothly. So after that, you need to open the program. It's called Handheld Companion. You'll find it in the little Windows tray below. And once the program is opened, there are so much to go through here. So first of all, your controller is connected. As you can see here, it detected your Steam input controller, and you can choose between the Xbox controller and the DualShock PS4 controller. As you can see here, I'm gonna switch it to the PS4, even though I don't think you need that um, since they function the same way, but yeah, there, there is. You also have your vibration here. If you scroll down, there is lizard mode, and uh, for the mouse and the buttons, if you want to disable the buttons while you play, you can set a hotkey for that to turn them on. So you don't face any problems while you're inside the game but i'm going to turn them on to show you more features which are the more exciting ones i know the control is exciting but this is really nothing the biggest feature of this app for me is definitely the overlay this will give you features like the steam os on your windows inside the game you don't have to leave the game you can just open the overlay and see whatever you want to change so i do have it now turned on in the overlay page you can change how the overlay looks and how it acts and uh, i set the steam button now to show the overlay so let's show the overlay and go through it right away and guys this i'm really excited for this it's really even better than the steam deck tools no ssoid no more no glossy no more this is the one so uh, as you can see here i'm going to navigate through the settings one um this is the menu it gives you settings performance profile and the suspender so if you go to the uh, settings one all you get to see is the uh, changing the brightness uh, you can see the battery level and you can change the volume as well you can go to the performance one and here is the kick here is the best feature for me you can change the thermal power the tdp limit on the go inside the game just like on steam os no more steam os because this is a game changer and it doesn't really stop there because you can change the gpu clock as you wish manually here from the settings you can also change the resolution as you wish and you can change the refresh rate this is really a game changer so this leads to my next one, adding refresh rate to handheld companion. So what we need to do first is download the files in the description below. And after there is direct links, it's easy to download. After you download them, you need to extract them because they come in a zip file. After you extracted them, you go to the folder where you extracted them in and you find an application here. So you open the application here and it's gonna ask you for admin permissions, give it permissions and you'll be greeted with this screen. So what you need to do now is look for the other file that we downloaded, which is included in the zip file. So here you go to import and you import the Steam Deck settings for the frame rates. Sorry, I clicked export here. Uh, you need to go to import and you will find this other file that we downloaded. Press this, press open. I already opened this, so I'm not gonna do that. It will load up the Steam Deck settings. So you have the settings here, but this is not done. You need to press okay. You need to restart your Steam Deck for the settings to take place. So after you restart your Steam Deck, the settings will be there in the handheld companion. You'll have all the refresh rates that you need. Let's go to the next one. So next we have the AMD Control Center. Let's go. So in order to get this nice gaming panel, you need to go to Google first and download 7-Zip. In my experience, this is the best one that worked for me. And then you need to go to the link I left in the description below. After you open the link, you need to scroll down and find the Windows version that you have. Here I have Windows 10, so I'm going to click on the Windows 10 place and then find the correct drivers for me. So before you download the drivers that are correct for you, you need to update your APU drivers, which are found in the Steam Deck resources like usual. After you download, you need to download the version that is 20.10.3. This one is compatible with the latest drivers that Valve put out on the Steam Deck resources page. So make sure you don't run the exe file you just downloaded. You need to go to the downloads and find it there. You need to right click on it and then go to 7-zip and then you need to click on extract files. Click OK and wait for the files to extract and then you will find the new folder here which is found in the download section. And again, do not really open this folder. So after you extracted this folder, you need to go to the search bar and type CCC. So the first thing that comes up here, you need to install this to get access to the gaming panel of AMD. 
So click install and wait for it to install. After that, make sure you restart your Steam Deck and voila, you have your AMD control center ready for you to use. So where you find it? You'll find it in the start menu, press start, press on the AMD settings and there is the AMD settings are available for you to use on your Windows Steam Deck. And next we get deep bloat windows for better performance. Let's go. So we noticed that Windows is more heavy on the memory than SteamOS and this has a negative effect on your Steam Deck performance on Windows. Unlike SteamOS, Windows uses a lot of memory on apps that you don't really need or use while gaming. Since we need the Steam Deck only for gaming, these apps can be removed easily with one trick. So I'm going to show you exactly that in this video. So we're going to get started with this simple trick that will help you achieve just that. So first go to your favorite internet browser. I have Edge here because it's my favorite. So then you need to type here TIW11. It is made for Windows 11, but it does work with Windows 10 perfectly. So open the website, the first website you'll get, and then you'll get to GitHub. You need to scroll down and find the right download. So scroll down until you see this. I need to download the TIW11 EXE. So download this one and wait for it to finish downloading. And you'll see that your Windows does not want you to keep this file because it thinks it's a virus, but it's not really a virus. It's just a Windows modification thing. So you need to press keep and make sure you keep the file. And then you need to open it and it's gonna ask you for permission to run, give it yes, and then it's gonna open the app. So let's go over it really quickly. Okay, so this is how the app looks when it runs. And what you need to do is, uh, forget this option now, I'm gonna explain it later, but go to the third option on the left and it'll show you all the apps that you have on your Windows. You can see I only have 25 apps. This is because I used this app already to remove them. Um, you will have more than 25 apps. I, I had 65 before. What you need to do is look through these apps and there are so many apps that you will not need. And what you need to do is move them to the list on the right. So move the apps that you don't need to the list on the right. And then after you're done moving all the apps you don't need, you need to click empty bin and then you need to click yes. I'm not going to do it now because I used uh, the app already and removed the ones I don't like, but it's going to remove all these apps from your PC that you don't need. There is also an option that shows you system apps, but be careful with this one. If you don't know what you're doing, it could be really dangerous for your Steam Deck. So I left this one alone. I just deleted the apps that are not essential to the system. Just make sure you carefully look at the list and delete the apps that you don't need, and then you're good to go. So this application has more features uh, for Windows. For example, here you can see it has so many other features that you could play around with to make your Windows experience better. So I'm going to just show you an example of the features that you have in this app. So for, for the first one here is going to create a system restore point just for you not to mess up anything. And then, for example, here you have your Windows Explorer is going to make uh, Windows 10 Explorer and changes it to the Windows 10 style. And it also has other stuff, for example, playing with the taskbar, making it like the Windows 11 style and hide the stuff you don't need from the taskbar has so many other features and after you selected all the features that you want then you click on fix issues and it's going to make the changes for you next we're going to increase the UMA buffer for better performance let's go so let's go to windows settings app here and find the update and security so click on update and security and here you need to find the recovery it should be on the left menu here if you click recovery there should be advanced startup what this does is gets you to the advanced menu where you can tweak the steam deck as you want so let's go to the advanced startup and wait for it to load this will take around a few seconds to load so let's just wait for it to load and after it's loaded just go to troubleshoot um and troubleshoot you need to find advanced options and to go to the boot menu you need to go to yefi firmware settings so after your Steam Deck has booted up, you need to go to the bottom right one, use the D-pad to navigate, uh, open this one and just wait for it to load. And then you need to go to the one on the left where it says advanced. And then you need to scroll down to the one I'm going to select UMA buffer. So this one is normally set to one gigabyte on Windows. This will basically not allow your uh, VRAM to access more than one gigabyte of RAM. So what I need to do is basically set it to four. So I set it back to one just to show you. And you need to set it back to four gigabytes there you will have the best performance you can ever have on your Steam Deck Windows and you need to go to the exit menu. So don't exit right away. Make sure you save the changing without exiting because sometimes it doesn't work really. So you need to save without exiting and then you exit with saving the changes and then you need to wait for it to reboot. After it's rebooted, it will give you the best performance you ever had in your Steam Deck. So that should do Increasing it. your virtual memory for better performance. Let's go. So. First, you need to go to the file explorer here and then you need to find PC. Right click on this and go to properties. Wait for it to load and on the right side, you need to go to advanced settings. Open advanced settings and you need to press on settings under performance. So press settings here and then you need to go to advanced. 
So after you want to advance, there's something there that says virtual memory. So as you can see here, I have 1000 virtual memory available right now, but when it comes at the box, it's basically 3000. I don't really know why it improves the performance so much, but let's do it because it did it for me. So you need to go to custom size and the first one you need to put 10,000 and the second one you need to put 11,000 and then you need to press OK, press OK again and then you need to restart your Steam Deck. So make sure you restart your Steam Deck from the restart button, do not turn it off from the lock button, just restart it from here and wait for it to load and then go back again to advanced settings to the same place we opened before I need to see that you have 10,000 megabytes of virtual memory. As you can see here, I have 10,000 megabytes, so that means my Steam Deck is ready for the new trick that makes your performance so much better. And again, I don't really know why that makes it better. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I wish this video was helpful for you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you like the channel, subscribe, and peace.